Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Horns here playing as the mighty Japanese Empire with a large land force limit. So we completed quantity and yeah, it gave us a lot of land force limit. However, we can't really afford that right now. So the focus of this episode is probably going to be on paying off our certain amount of debt and uh, um, converting things just so we have less rebellions during our Chinese wars. We still gotta convert um, all of this area and the rest of that. Hopefully while not heavily offending my um, colonial nations that much. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think we're pretty good. I don't necessarily want my marches to have the best tech in the world. So... Good there. We're getting about 30 gold a month. We're maxed out of army professionalism. We have a huge loan we still have to keep paying for every month or so. Ugh, the inflation. We're keeping it reasonably under control. As long as it's below 2, it's not bad. We have 209 provinces and 163 non-overseas cores. We could probably up that a little bit. But I kind of want to get more of the idea groups done. There we go. Slow, steady progress. This area proves to be reasonably easy to convert. I'm surprised. I don't think Buddhism has an advantage to conversion, does it? No. Weird. Um, there we go. Now we're catching up with tech. Once we hit this next level, 26, we'll be in good, really good shape. I don't, there won't be anybody in the area who can really fight us other than maybe the Ming. And that's because, unfortunately, they're keeping up with tech. Not much I can do there. Need 2,000 gold to upgrade ships. Delightful. Not really. Um, I will upgrade these ships, though. Go from two deckers to three deckers. Cannons, hull size. 20 cannons plus 10 hull size. Not bad. It's a pretty nice increase. Finding, hit, finally hitting the point of the game where the techs really make some strong differences. Like this one. If for some reason you haven't colonized the world already by this point. Plus 25% global settler increase. In reality... The game should colonize slower, because historically, like, this area was not colonized, really, by 1720. Ottomans have entered a coalition. Absolutely horrible. That is an absolute, utter disaster. Um, okay, I really could use another ally. Diplomacy Offer Alliance. Holland. I want somebody who's strong. Persia. Hmm. Austria, maybe? Austria, I think, would be the next strongest one, right? I don't think I can get any of these guys. I don't think Portugal likes me. France doesn't like me. Britain definitely doesn't like me. Persia or Austria? Austria is conquering land like crazy right now. Were they guaranteed by guaranteed guaranteed by Russia? Okay, I'll ally myself to them. They've got hundred thousand troops or so. Hopefully it would deter the Ming and the Ottomans, but we shall see. Suffice to say, I may need to raise another army soon, even before I pay off this debt. How much is one of my base armies? Um, army, 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 army. 800.
Well, to 800 we go, I guess. Uh, I have this province here. I could up. I'm gonna up gold production in a little bit. Anything I anything to get me a little bit more gold right now. Don't think there's any. Oh, there is gold down here, and I do own it. And it is nicely cored. Okay. That should help. There we go. A little bit. More along the lines is it doesn't hurt. No. Even if somehow we lost this region, it would not really be loyal to anybody unless they were Protestant. <laughs> or, yeah, I guess they'd have to be Protestant. Maybe Reformed would work. That's about it. Also, I still need to think about whether or not moving my trade node to here would be good. We have 38% of it. <sighs> Probably would be worth it. <sighs> Let's try it out. Um, we'll make this, give that to the burgers, make my main trade node there. Now we're going to shift all these merchant stuff around. So we still want to pull trade from here, but the key is we want to move it from here south. Steer trade to Malacca. Yes. Let's see how much that changes. We're getting 55 from trade there. 84. <laughs> I should have done that a while ago, I think. Um... Oh, uh, we want to... Oh, we are collecting here. It gets us 40 gold here, and then gets us 40 gold here. Oh. No transfer bonus due to collecting in the pawn. Um, let's try trans doing transfer trade here. I'm curious. So rather than making 44 gold, we will shift it. Nope. We are still going to be collecting trade in Japan. Okay, fair enough. It's like one of the first times I've actually found it worthwhile to do the second thing there and keep it the way it was. Um, yeah, we'll offend those guys. It goes away over time, so I don't really... Then they're poor colonial nations. Don't particularly care what they want. Okay. I think two months and then we can get another 40,000 troops on the field or so. And that will help a lot. Yeah, need 43 gold. There we go. Another colony done, too. Oh, cool. Uh, we'll raise troops there. And I think we can't go to there, can't go to there. I don't think there's anywhere left to colonize. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's still some value to keeping expansion ideas, but exploration ideas probably can be removed. I don't really know what I'd replace it with, though. That's the question. Because it would have to be a diplomatic one, I think. Uh, trade could work. Actually, espionage might be worth it at this point. The reduced corruption could be good. Influence might not be bad. 
Hmm. Probably diplomatic would be worth it though for the reduced province war score cost. Oh well. I shall think about it further. All those troops moving together, that should be good, unless these guys revolt before the army is fully built, then it'll be annoying. Doesn't look like it. Good. Um, keep the conversion going, I guess. Okay, coalition against this declined. It is gone, actually, right? Other than the Ottomans. They actually successfully per per persuaded the Ming to leave, or... Oh, the Ming are in another war versus France. Hmm, do I smell an opportunity here? Attacker gets French in the second Ming-France war. We could call Russia in. They would have Great Britain... What is their troop limit? Russia doesn't have a lot of troops. The Ming have... Still more troops. Hmm. They are catching up to them and force an army size, but still not fast enough. We need a huge amount of money to pull off anything else at this point. Okay, more conversion. It's going rather nice. I don't really even have to do much. It just slowly is converting this region. It's a shame I'm not a uh, Muslim and can't do the uh, propagate religion. That is really strong. Honestly, I'm surprised the uh, Ottomans aren't trying to use it on me or something. It's essentially free conversion. Particularly handy if one plays in India. Okay. We want this next dip admin tax so we get the cheaper merc uh, missionary maintenance. Plus there's some nice benefits for finishing this idea tree. Morale of armies will be nice. Defensive ideas, attrition plus one for enemies. Edict of Resistance. I definitely want that as soon as I can get it. Ech. Where'd we get our Catholics? We got Catholics somewhere in our lands. Up right up there. We'll have to kick them out. No Catholics allowed. Um, hmm. Great pedigree comes great responsibilities, I guess. Um, we still have more provinces we can give to the burgers, so let's do some of that. Some of these provinces are not that great, but... Oh, it looks like that's about as much as I can do right now. Alright, I got this one. Upgrading this costs 160. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's worth it right now. Of course, our trade income declined because they're unhappy, so we have that penalty. I'm hoping they'll recover reasonably quickly. But today, I can't. I don't think I've got much more. Uh, so there's a t I could give him this one, center of trade. And 
I could give them that one, center trade. I could give them this one, center trade. Estuary, I think. I think that's all I'm going to give them right now. We don't want to give them way too much influence. Oh, actually, we've hit the cap on it, so we can actually give them more. There we go. It's only a reasonably small amount to go. Wait, did I just see the Manchu appear? Hello, Manchu. Interesting. Tribal Kingdom. Huh. That must be one of the last tribal kingdoms in the game right now. I think everyone else is probably swapped over to normal government. Oh, that lovely conversion. Uh, let's convert this province. 16 gold a month, though. Ow. Well, we should be able to deal with that next month. There we go. Save 8 gold from one religious idea. Yeah. That'll be worth it. Um, perhaps policy change is in order. We still at some point want to kill Korea, so... Oh, wait, what's going on? France has attacked the Ming? What is going on? Huh. The Ming are actually suffering a French attack on their borders. Interesting. As long as France doesn't lose their capital region, they should be fine. Oh, I don't want to lose my army professionalism. I really don't. I hate it when that happens. Lose tons of it. I suppose I should send a missionary up to take out these Catholics before I have a revolt on my hands. Oh wait, I already am. Figures. They would have been the cheapest one to uh, convert. Okay. I can intervene in war with great power to aid the Mings. No, thank you. <laughs> I have no intention of aiding the Mings. If anything, I'd like to help kill the Ming. Which really comes down to what is their force limit. If this gets low, we will definitely try to attack them. The key is finance-wise. They have a lot of production, yeah. Um, 300 some odd gold there. Oh, last one we can do. I know I said last time, last time, but... Obviously, that couldn't happen with uh, a, a locked-off province for us. Um, you know what? Let's just find a low-development province and stick this on them to develop it. Um, you're low. Chance of... Oh, we don't know. 50% chance of growing one development a, a year? Guess it's worth it. Pay off a loan... Ottomans have left coalition versus us. Awesome. Okay, I think it's probably time to think about attacking the Ming. Probably not this episode, though, but they are... I have a lot of mercs, and that is a problem, and we are still in debt, which is also a problem. Looks like they're finally driving back the French. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, army reform and morale, global trade power, or tax. 
Hmm. I'm tempted to do the military one. Oh, my air just died. That could be a bit of an issue. We need an air. We definitely need an air. Um, Russia, 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 Russia. We can't interact with Russia. Okay, Champa that. Force them to convert religiously. And then we'll try and... Uh, can we Royal Marriage these guys? Do they hate us? We'll try the Royal Marriage approach. There we go. Just the only reason I'm doing that is because it does lose me 14 troops a month of loyal. It gets me a slightly better chance of having an heir. 10%. Or 5%. Uh, of course they're disloyal. There's not much I can do about that. Um... And I'll just have to go down over time. So I think we will probably stop here. And we will plot against China and the Ming, the Ming China next time. Because they are... Honestly, they've lost some troops. As is Russia. What is Russia doing? Are they in a war? No, Russia's just losing the troops marching around Russia. Fair enough, I guess. Okay, so hopefully next time we will get light infantry companies before the Ming do. We should be able to attack them. Hopefully we'll still have that morale bonus and we can hit a golden age. At that point, we should definitely be able to beat the Ming. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.